Project HD update number seven, I believe. Now, at first we were running these 18 amp hour batteries, which are pretty big. So those were in series, so we had 18 amp hours of capacity. And when we would give it full juice, these four VEX Pro 775 motors would just draw too much power and it was putting the electronic speed controller into low voltage cutoff. So it would just shut off like it just didn't have any battery life. It's, it's a protective thing built into the controller. So these batteries are kind of older. So it could just be that they're, we need fresh cells. But just for testing, we got the old uh, razor and we tore it apart because it had these massive 26 amp hour batteries in there. So this is just a test. This is very rigged. Um, I realize that. But the good news is it solved our glitching problem. There was zero issues with it shutting off when my son gave it full gas right off the get-go. Um, you're going to see some video of it in our test. And it wasn't because of lack of power that it wasn't working. We had a foot of snow last night. And literally, it was just too much for it. Um, it was kind of comical. I wanted to push this thing to its limit. And I am, I got to be honest, guys. I am so tired of the haters saying, needs rubber tires. Rubber tires. I can understand the people making the comments about putting self-tapping screws or whatever, because that would work too. But then we'd have a ton of screw holes in our tires. These chains work great. Our order from McMaster Car finally came in. Problem was with it that they had the wrong address they delivered it had to get shipped back to them so long story short we finally got the chains and we installed those in the back um, right here I'm probably gonna do some pictures of showing how we installed those all right here's what we got going on with our 4x4 plow truck We've made it four-wheel drive, but we also need traction. Everybody's hating on the plastic wheels, but we have rubber tires on our tractor, and it doesn't go anywhere without chains. So what we've done is we've taken some welded up chain, and we've nipped them, and we wrapped them around our dually rear tires. Each one of these rear tires has over 20 foot of chain on it. Um, if it doesn't work, we can always add another um, it's, it's 11 links across, and we could do that to add maybe a little bit more bite into the uh, slick surface out there, but that was just a quick update to show you guys our 4x4 traction add. So we're going to put these on and see if we can plow some snow. dying. Um, it has such good traction, in fact, that we literally stripped off the gear. So you see that metal gear in there? Yeah, I just did another video about these metal gears from ML Toys. Junk, don't waste your money but it stripped off every single tooth off the first gear and the third tooth or third gear it needs dentures it's missing a lot of teeth so um, that answers your question guys if we had rubber tires on here with the added traction and the massive rotating mass increase these plastic gears wouldn't stand a chance um, now I know that I can't have my son go flying full speed into a snow bank that he just built. And uh, it was fun, but yeah, it cost us some gears. But that's the learning process, guys. So hashtag no rubber tires, guys, okay? And you can see that there is the diesel fuel hashtag electric and it's charged up ready to go I've slapped in a new 13 tooth gearbox 
and this thing is ready to go, um, what we're going to do is we're going to leave the 126 amp hour over the rear axle and this one that we have just mocked up in here that is going to go over the front axle so there's this front bumper support we're going to cut that and we're going to build a battery tray literally right over the axle so that should definitely help with the traction um, gets it out of the way the only negative really is we have to run such long battery cables but we're going to go with these big giant ones um, so there's no voltage drop or loss but um, yeah that's pretty much it other than oh we got some headlights we put those in I wanted to do the um, running turn signal lights in there but I used them all up in my uh, use of them in the strobes because it looks like I used what six of the osniums and I only had one left so I just ordered um, 20 more of those from Ted over there at Osnium. But anyways, guys, this is where we're at with the build. Uh, we're really happy with it. I think that the next step is going to be finishing up the lighting. Uh, I'm still on the fence about building a rear bumper. I think I'm going to leave it because I like how it just shows the dual wheels more. So I think we're just about complete. Um, we're going to paint, oh, next is paint. So we're going to paint the mirrors, bumper, side uh, steps in a black, and then the wheels we're going to hydro dip in this cool demon pattern that we got in. Um, I'm mildly concerned about all these little pockets in here that they're going to create voids, but we'll do one. Um, might even have my son try it here teaching him the tools of the trade and uh, you know then this thing will look pretty finished and hopefully we'll just have a couple more updates but anyways guys thanks for watching give us a thumbs up a like and subscribe to our channel because we're getting into some crazy stuff this year for 2018 all right thanks for watching